Hi there, welcome back to Kelly Martin Speaks. I'm going to do a little video on the new moon coming up, uh, which can be useful for any new moon throughout the year. Now I have a new camera, it's a flip ultra high definition, um, oh, generation 3. And I have a little tripod and I'm very excited. It's very, very exciting to have a new camera. And it means I can take it out with me, out in nature. Uh, so that's gonna be good fun. So, a little on the new moon. Now, I spoke about the full moon in one of my last videos. <sighs> We've had a, quite a month, haven't we? There's been quite a lot of changes, a lot of things happening in the media throughout the world during the dark phase of the moon uh, I don't know how your phase has gone whether you've been cleansing a lot of energy out of your life or whether you've had a dark period of time and this new moon is time for the new and it's a Scorpio new moon which is apparently to do with transmut transmuting the emotions, any negativity you may be feeling or holding on to. Uh, it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. And basically new moons are a time of setting new intentions in your life. Or if you've got older intentions you want to recharge and add some va 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 boom to. New Moon is a good time to do it. Now the New Moon is on Wednesday this month, it's October 2011. For anyone that's watching this in a, you know many years to come. And you can do anything you want on the New Moon to be honest. You make your own ritual, your own celebration. I'm going to spend time on the New Moon writing out a list of things that I'm grateful for for the past 30 days since my last new moon ritual and I'm going to light a candle I'm going to inscribe it with either the intentions I'm continuing with in my life or new intentions and I'm just going to spend some time just allowing the new to come in uh, I did a, a little vlog recently I've had a lot of changes in the way I think about my life and I'm realizing that like this camera what you're watching now my life is a movie and it's my movie and this movie of my world could not be here without me and my movie is different to your movie I have lots of characters in it a lot of actors experiences, events, and it's my choice whether I keep those characters in my movie or I have a new movie. It could be an adventure uh, at the moment. It could be anything, a thriller, you name it, whatever, comedy, <laughs> whatever you want to call your movie. And you can have lots of different aspects to your movie. And so this new moon is about a new movie for me. I feel like my life is expanding and shifting inside. I've moved my furniture around in my flat, which was a big thing. I'm changing direction and where I'm sitting in my house, which I've had the similar, I don't know what you're like, but I have had the same direction I've been sitting in for so long. No matter where I move my furniture, I always sat on a position with the left hand side or anything. I get on a bus, I sit on the right hand side or the left hand side. I drink my cup, brush my teeth from a similar position and I just felt this real urge to shift things around and I think the only time you feel like shifting your furniture around is ready is when you're shifting your inside, your inner being, your inner world, your painting, your canvas is shifting and this is where I am so I'm gonna just have a new movie and move some characters around open up to some new adventures. It's quite exciting. I feel like this rush of new coming in. I got a new camera. I have some new tools for my art. 
and I'm really enjoying my blog. I've revamped my blog. It's all new. Um, check it out. It's gone sexy. I've sexified my blog. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I just, I'm going to do some videos on my new understandings maybe in the next month or sooner uh, and I'm going to do a Halloween video this week also because the Halloween is very important and it's not just about Halloween it's a lot deeper than Halloween so yeah for this new moon set your intentions if you have any recharge your intentions consider what's happened this past month what you're grateful for what do you want to transmute in your emotions and I'm just going to read a little bit on what I got off the internet. Of course, it's new beginnings. Um, now, the, your, your intentions you set in the new moon are for the next 30 day cycle. Now, it's interesting for me because I'm seeing my world as an illusion. It's, it's a thing that, I, that is my art. It's my canvas that I paint. So the moon is something I've created as a focal point for certain things in my life. The changes and shifts. And it's amazing what we create as humans, what we've created in this time zone, this time reality. But, uh, yeah, oh yes, somebody mentioned, I thought it was very good, I think. If you set intentions, try and keep them alive for the next 30 days. Find some way of focusing on them. Be it doing a little to do with the intention or just playing around with it. Um, and a little bit from, it's probably very similar to what I've been saying from my book that I just keep referring to, The Earth Cycle of Celebration by Glennie Kindred. Uh, the new moon, let me see, the new moon, the sun and moon rise together in the east. The moon is invisible because she is hidden by the sun's brightness. A time for new beginnings, new projects, new directions, new resolutions and seeds. It is the best time for invocation and speaking out your intent. So that's me for now and I'm hoping this video has turned out alright because I've got no way of seeing like my other camera what's happening on it. So I'll speak to you all soon and have a wonderful new moon on Wednesday or whenever your new moon is that you're celebrating it. And just remember that you paint your picture and nothing is in your world without it being in here first, your imagination. And be gentle with it, don't, don't force your intentions. Be gentle. Allow in what you're ready to receive. This may not be the big things you have on your list. What could you receive if it's money? Is it 20 dollars, 20 pounds, 100? Feel it in here, in your gut as well. What would you feel like you could receive right now? What feels safe to receive? And as you receive it, you'll be open to something else. Maybe bigger, different. So, thank you, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!